Its name means Smoky Mountain. Right now, it's living up to it. Popocatepetl, a five and a half thousand meter volcano in central Mexico, currently belching out poisonous smoke and ashes. The government's volcano meter is one step away from prepare to evacuate. They're getting shelters ready for the more than 120,000 people in the danger zone. But those we met in San Pedro Benito Juarez, almost at the foot of the volcano, are carrying on as normal. They have a different way of looking at it. When we have a few months with no smoke and no noise, that's when we worry. We think, what's happening with the volcano? It has to breathe. In reality, yes. Amelia's family, farmers, accept the trade-off the volcano brings. Fertile, ash-enriched soil versus the always lingering risk of destruction. We have to take the good with the bad, she tells me. But the clouds of smoke and ash are already affecting nearby towns too. Schools are out because of the contaminated air. Face masks are back. And the locally famous flowers of nearby Atlisco currently look like this. Nothing's escaping the ash carpet. And clearing it away is a Sisyphean task. Every day we have to sweep it up. It really affects us. We have a business selling ice lollies and we have to keep it closed. The ash cloud is actually so thick that we haven't even been able to see the volcano for most of our visit. It's hidden somewhere over there. And that cloud has traveled far enough away that it's even closed down Mexico City Airport for a few hours this Saturday. Despite the murk, scientists have kept their eye on Popocatepetl day and night in this special monitoring center. A full eruption is what they fear, though they stress that isn't the situation yet. There's a lot of ash, but we still aren't at the point of a red alert. Those in the volcano's shadow are leaving the authorities to it. For them, it's business as usual. John Holman, Al Jazeera, San Pedro Benito Juarez, Mexico.